Good morning from Williamsburg, Virginia. We are at Bush Gardens for the Food and Wine Festival for 2017. Yep. Very excited. We came here for a brief moment last night just to do some preliminary scouting, and today we're fully ready to go. Brian's already bought his sampler. <laughs> um, we got that last night too. So come along with us and enjoy the day. A beautiful, beautiful sunny day at Bush yeah. Gardens. Yeah, we'll, we'll see how long it lasts today. Yeah, there's a chance of rain, but we're gonna keep our fingers crossed. Let's do it. Let's do it. Seen our previous Bush Gardens videos. Uh, they have countries, uh, mostly European, but a couple uh, that are questionable, like uh, Canada, which is New France. Yeah. Uh, but it's England, Ireland, Scotland, and so on. Uh, France, Italy, Germany. About, that's about it. Do you know one thing? It's a thumping soundtrack here. It in is. Yeah, they always have good music here in England. So we're headed on in and. Brian is going to ride at Griffin first, I think, and then soon after that we'll be starting the food festival. Yeah. Good morning, Mr. or Mrs. Clydesdale. Very pretty. Brian just noticed this sign. If you know what they're doing, leave us a comment. Sounds intriguing. Here we go into France. Almost to Griffin. It's a lot different looking than last night. What's that? I said it's a lot different looking than last oh, night. Oh yeah, it was so packed last night. So this is the coaster above me that Brian is getting on now. I have ridden it, it's a great coaster. Really fun. So it hangs you over the edge a little. And then drops. So they're doing test runs now. And also there's Alpengeist. That's also a really fun inverted coaster. We're heading into Germany and we're gonna ride Dark Castle, which is over here. It's sort of a combination of a dark ride. Um, it moves along pretty quickly and spins a bit on a track. And then um, you also have screen, 3D screens, 3D glasses. Mm -hmm. I've heard it's like the Spider-Man ride at Universal if you're familiar with that. We've not ridden that one. Um, but it's a really fun ride. We both enjoy it. So Brian is going to ride Revolton now. It's a really fun ride. It's a coaster, but it has a takeoff kind of like Aerosmith's Rock and Roller Coaster. There's Brian on Verbolton. All right, first stop is Island Freeze. All right, first drink of the day is the Bahama Mama. The coconut is really predominant, so it's pretty good. It's a light, pretty drink. Oh. So we're going to stop in Germany and I'm going to get some currywurst. Alright, first food item is the currywurst from Germany. It looks really tasty. Next stop, the Caribbean. And what are you going to get? Uh, beer flight. Yeah, I'm not sure what else. Alright. So Brian stopped in the Caribbean and he got a beer flight and the mojo shrimp. I had this good. last year, they called it a heart of palm salad last year, but it's exactly the same, it's so good. All right, so Brian said they were out of one beer, so he got two of something he liked from last year. Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> last year I didn't know what it was. So this, the, the ship, the, I know this is Heavy Seas Tropicana. Yeah, that's a good one from last year. Nice. That's a lot of fruity flavors to that. You know, there's a land shark, and I'm not sure what this one is because it's different. The book is different, sure different than what's up on the the board. Yeah. All right, Brian is gonna try the mojo shrimp now. It's anything like last year, it was really, really good. I'm trying to get everything in one bite here. It's really good. I'm gonna have to get that too. I was just full of curry worst at the moment. Shrimp's really good. Yeah, I like 
the corn and the beans. It's really good. Awesome. Good. All right, we're stopping in India and I'm gonna get the tandoori chicken. It does smell really good. We stopped in India and I got the tandoori chicken. It comes with some ginger cardamom rice and a cucumber yogurt relish. It looks really, really good. All right, so I am going to dig in and give this a try. Some of the relish. All right. Is that good stuff? Not my favorite. Oh. Not a repeat? Definitely not. The chicken's really dry. Oh. Like, really dry. It's a bummer. Um, and I just don't even like the spices. I mean, I've had tandoori chicken. I even had it in India. And um, the spices don't taste quite right. Definitely not a repeat. All right, drink number two is a mojito from Island Freeze. Very good. Very good. It's not as sweet as the Bahama Mama, so for me, I like it better. We are headed into the Fest house. There's supposed to be a new show, Brian, so it's starting momentarily, or already started. October Zest. October Zest. Now, if you saw our vlog from the beer fest, it was crazy that day with a long line. And then here's what it looks like during the food and wine festival. It's pretty much wide open. And it's like this most of the year, wouldn't you say, that we've been yeah. here, yeah. So they have a ton of beers. And they have this huge long list of beers, which Brian said rotate, so it's not even the same. And he just noticed they have a charging station on here too. Nice. All right, we are in India again, which is still in Germany. <laughs> and Brian got the spicy potato curry. Yeah. Let's try this out. Is that good? It's really spicy, but really good. So how is the spicy potato curry? It's really good, really spicy. I think I'm sweating in my pores here. Clean the bowl. It's like really good. We're gonna get on one of my favorite rides, the Sky Ride. Yay, we're on the Sky Ride. That wasn't a bad way, was it? No, it wasn't. That was pretty fast. Yeah. Whoa, bouncy. We're on the same side, so our car is like really <laughs> tilted. <laughs> I love this ride. I can't even tell you how happy this makes me. It's so relaxing. It is. It's peaceful. Well, get up above everyone, you know. The north. Out of the crowds, and you get to see all these great coasters while you go by. It's oh, just oh, there's a lot of this. I was thinking awesome. maybe it's down, but there it is. Oh, there goes Griffin. Wow, nice. I hear Loch Ness on a lift hill. I do too. I love these views. Oh, there goes Alpen Geist right at the top of its lift. Another fun coaster. Fun coaster. There's a uh, Loch Ness coming around the corner here. Here they go. They're going to come through this loop over here right next to us. Fun 
coaster. Hey guys, we're on the train. Uh, we just barely caught the line for the second. Sky Ride was huge. So we decided to take the train all the way around to New France. Bush Gardens has tons of fun ride though. So we're still on the train. We've got some sheep out. It's so cute. Crossing over a bridge right now. If you look toward the right, you will find Alpenweiss beer. So we are heading under Invader. If you saw our earlier video from the start, we were here opening day and actually participated in the opening day ceremony. I will put a link right over there to that video. I love how they have the train actually go underneath the ride there. That's really well designed. There it goes. That is a fun ride. All right, so Brian just figured out this line right here of people that they just let in. That line is just a chance to get in the line for Invader, which is over here. So it's a line for a line. Isn't that funny? It's crazy. I mean, I love that coaster, don't get me wrong, but no. Well, just no. Very popular, actually. Well, I wouldn't wait that long for any ride there. That's no, just me. No. Well, it's like with Tempesto. We waited, I waited two seasons, I think, before getting on. Right. Yeah. Wait until the lines die yeah. down. We're stopping at the French Quarter to get me a hurricane. I've had this the last two years of the festival. It's very, very tasty. We stopped in Canada and I got the venison sausage. It's on some polenta and I had this last year. It was really good. So I'm hoping it's just as good. And Brian got the cheese lager soup. Yeah. And last year you really enjoyed it, right? It looks good, yes. Yeah. The venison sausage is good this year as well, although to me it's not quite as good as last year. I'm not sure why. It's just not quite as tasty. It's a little on the salty side and it's also a little on the not so hot side, like it's lukewarm. Um, how about your soup? This is awesome. It's really good. Good once again. Yeah. It's hard to go wrong with you know beer cheese soup, I think. Also, I think I forgot to show my hurricane that I got in French Quarter. The line there was huge as always. It's disappointing because it's one of the better drinks they have here, but the line is always crazy. And did you notice most people were getting a hurricane in the line? Yeah. It's very popular. Um, not really worth the wait though, especially now that they have that Freeze Island place with all the drinks. Wouldn't you agree? Like, agree. given the choice. But anyway, I got one. It's tasty as always. Alright, so we're gonna stop in the American Southwest and Brian is gonna get something. I'm not sure why. I think the ghost pepper guacamole. Alright, Brian stopped in Southwest America and Which is now in uh, Scotland. Scotland, yes. Yeah, so it used to be in Canada, now it's in Scotland. They don't know where to stick it. <laughs> So I got the ghost pepper uh, guac with chips here and the center of the universe slingshot. That sounds interesting. Yeah. Why don't you give it a try? Well, I've read it. It's nice. Oh, is it it's good? good? Yeah, it's good beer. All right, I want to see how hot this guac really is because ghost pepper's hot. I can't tell if the ghost pepper's on the chips or on the guac. I think it's supposed to be in the guac from what I was reading. It still looks dusted on these chips. Yeah, it does. Smells good, I can smell it. It's good, I don't, I don't feel the heat. That's one of those that comes over time. We had the ghost pepper tilapia at Epcot one time. Oh, here it comes. Yeah, it took a while for it to kick in. Ooh, yeah, that's good. <laughs> yeah, really good. We stopped in the American Southwest. I got a very runny margarita and it's super sweet. I wouldn't recommend it. Bummer. But I'm kind of picky about my margaritas, to be fair. So I waited in a long line in Hawaii for this little, sad little portion of tuna pique. That's so much smaller than last year. Yeah, that's just, I don't know, that's just sad. It is sad. Oh well, they can't all be winners, I guess. Good stuff. Well, and to be fair, also it's deconstructed this year. Last year it had that cream and it had the seaweed inside of the little dish, the little wonton. Yeah. Good morning from Bush Gardens of the Food and Wine Festival. Day two. Day two. Um, as you can see above us, it is a little cloudy today. 
but um, we're hoping to make the best of it. And the rain's not supposed to start till this afternoon, even though we do keep feeling a drop yeah. occasionally. Um, so we'll so make the best so of stick it. With us, find out if we get wet. Find out if we get drenched. <laughs> and what's also awesome is it's much cooler today than it was it yesterday. Is. It's only gonna be a 79. Yeah, yeah. Well, yesterday was nine. It's pretty much 90. It was really hot. We are gonna head into Pot of Gold. Look around. So Brian just pointed out, if you ever need a steampunk fairy, just come to Bush Gardens and go to Pot of Gold in Ireland. <laughs> they get you. It's only $89.95. Also, next year in 2018, they're going to have a new virtual reality ride. Um, it's going to be right here in this area. And we don't really know anything about it yet. They, I don't think they've released really details. So, yeah. yeah. I know it's going to be one of those goggle things. Right. Yeah. Like the VR. Yeah. Be interesting to see what it is. They're now in France, heading into a store in France. In several other countries, they have these wine tastings, and Brian was saying they're a pretty good deal if you're a wine drinker. So we're gonna inquire about how much it costs to mine for something. It actually looks like gems. Like, gems? What do you call it, like precious stones? Well, semi-precious probably, yeah. So here's the pricing. I enjoyed it so much yesterday. I'm gonna start out with a mojito from Island Freeze. Stopped in the booth in Germany, and I got the curry worst. Here's the mojito I got at Island Freeze. And Brian got the beer flight in Germany. I'll let him tell you about that when he gets back. All right, Brian went all the way to India and back, which is actually only a couple minutes from here, but it, it feels like he went all the way to India and back. It took a while. Yeah. I got there, so I got samosas. Yum. And what's that first beer you're drinking? Yeah. Worcester, or Risters, or that on that. We don't know how to say it, but is it good? It's, it's all right. All right, we are finally heading to new territory. We didn't even make it over here yesterday so much to do on the side that we were on so we're crossing the bridge over into italy and there's spain mediterranean what else is over here yeah there's ver bolton going down their hill that's a fun ride so how was your you, you were on there yesterday? Yeah. The beer flight, oh, that wasn't, it didn't do anything for me this year, but Aww. I think it's because I was mixing Indian food with the beer flight, German beer Just flight, didn't go together. Didn't go together Aww. Time. But I am loving the India food booth, so that's new this year, yeah, it's really good food there. Except for the tandoori chicken that I had yesterday, but yeah. the two vegetarian dishes he really loves. Awesome. We're going to stop at Italy, and I think Brian's going to get some cannolis. All right, so Brian got these awesome looking cannolis. He had these last year and said they were They're really awesome, tasty. Yeah. All those plastic forks not doing too well. <laughs> I think you had that problem last yeah. year. I think you had to buy it. Mm. Really good. That's so good. <laughs> so we enjoyed Italy. Brian got the cannolis, which he really, really loved. It's really good. And he loved them last year, so they seem to be consistently good. And um, here's another one of those locations where you can get a wine tasting. So we're heading up here to Spain, which is the next booth. We're going to Spain now to get at least me some tapas. I just had to move out of the way of this guy. He's working his way through the people here. We stopped in Spain and here's what the tapas looks like. We've had this in previous years, it's pretty good. Just finished the tapas, Brian ate the cheese, he said it was good. The cheese was really good, yep. Like that. I got the, um, I had the nuts and the olives, both really good. So I would definitely recommend that. We were coming up on Asia now. Are you getting anything from Asia? Uh, I don't know. They had some vegetarian stuff. Yeah, they had that lettuce wrap and tofu. Looks like Asia is pretty popular. It is pretty popular. So we decided not to stop at Asia. Brian saw the line and decided there was nothing he really wanted quite that bad. I really like these lanterns that they have here leading up towards Asia. And we miss our troll that guards the bridge here during Howler's Scream. He's pretty funny. Yeah. This is Escape from Pompeii. Last time we were here, we locked out and came on a day that it was actually open. And so I've got a ride through video I'll link right over there. Really fun ride there. Here's 
there's the Mediterranean booth. We have decided not to get anything here. Um, I don't think there was anything gluten-free and Brian said he just has other things he wants to get. So also, if you're coming to the food festival, they have a scotch tasting. It's not something we're partaking in today, but they do have it. We just stopped at American Southwest and Brian is going to try the fish taco. Fish taco. Looks really good. Yum. So how is your fish taco? It's good fish taco. There's tons of onion on it, which I like. So others may not like that. But I do. So as we sit here in the American Southwest, we get to watch Loch Ness Monster go up the lift hill. He's really making a lot of positive noises. This must be a good fish taco. stopped in the Caribbean and I'm really sorry I didn't get film of the Caribbean because it started pouring. We're under this... Just like the Caribbean, right? <laughs> <laughs> We're under this huge tree which is actually shockingly dry because it was really raining hard. You can tell by Brian's shoulders. Yeah. It gives you an idea. So I got the moho shrimp which you saw him have yesterday. Um, he got the shrimp fritters. Is it shrimp fritters? Gamba fritters? Yeah, I think it has shrimp in it. Yeah, it does have shrimp. And I got the Caribbean Sunset, which looks totally different than last time, and it tastes much better. Oh, good. Greatly improved from last time. And then what beer is that? That is the Tropicana, and I really like that. Oh, really? Yeah, so if you're staying with us from this morning, to answer the question, are we going to get it wet? Yes, we did. Yes, <laughs> yes. We have ducked into the fest house to get out of the rain along with everyone else. It was pouring. It, was pour it started really pouring after our last film. So how was your fritters? Uh, not so good. It's really doughy, like fried dough. Was it raw or just? Yeah, it was kind of on the raw uh, side. Under, undercooked. But I mean, it's just a ton of dough with a little tiny salad shrimp. Which was, uh, yeah, it wasn't good. Salad and then, dough, not recommend that. he loved that shrimp moho salad. He had it yesterday. I didn't like it. Um, I, I don't mean that it was gross. It just wasn't, I don't know, it didn't do anything for me. So he ended up being my shrimp for me. Yeah. Yeah, I ate the shrimp. That's yeah. Alright, so Brian decided to buy the fossil. Well, I see some chunks in there. Ooh, that's exciting. <laughs> what you got there? Oh, I see something. Ooh, I see a shark's tooth. So that's a shark's tooth nice. for sure. Right there. I don't know what that is. It's definitely something. Oh wow, very cool, sea urchin, Oh yeah, yeah it is. is a sea urchin. Oh, yeah. We stopped in Ireland and Brian got the cheese sampler. Cheese sampler, looks really good. It does look really good, it's always a good sized portion. This is not the size that I had last year. Definitely <laughs> not, that was huge. It was massive. Really good. Yes. But sadly, they were out of all beer because they ran out of CO2 at the Ireland, which is kind of ironic, I don't know, for Ireland. No beer in Ireland. So we had an awesome two days at the Bush Gardens Williamsburg Food and Wine Festival. I think we had a really good time. It was a good time. And uh, I think we enjoyed most of the food, most of the drinks. You know, of course there's always some hits and misses. That's why you go to food festivals so you can try the, uh, new stuff. And the food. That was really good. Yeah, it was a nice addition. Something totally different. And yeah. for me, I saw like a brick record, but the currywurst was again my favorite. <laughs> and that, I think that's three years running now. Uh, it's good. That's from the Germany booth. Um, I do love the addition of the new Island Freeze, um, you know, drink area. Lots of different sort of tropical mixed drinks. And being, I don't drink beer or wine, so having that was a lot of fun for me. A really nice addition. So I'd say it was a great year for this year. We did have one comment on the sampler package. We don't really feel like it's worth it for if you're a season pass holder. If you're a season pass holder, you do get a discount on the food, and I even got it on my drinks. Yeah. Um, 
So, 10%. to make the sampler package worth it, your item has to be over 450. Not many of the food items are over 450. So, we felt like for two of us, for two full days, it was actually hard to use all the. It we was. did, we did, but we it's had to actually work at it. So, I would say, unless you're going to be here longer, I would skip the sampler yeah. package if you're a pass holder. Um, however, if you're not a pass holder, it's probably worthwhile if you're here at least two days or if you have a bigger party. Like, if you have four people, I'd say it's probably worth it. Yeah. So, anyway, thanks for following along. We hope you enjoyed it. If you like, please subscribe, like, share, and leave us a comment. Thank you. Bye. Bye.